What's up guys? We are back with another video. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and we're the Mermaid Gang. This is where you can come and suspend your disbelief. I am your favorite manifestation coach and your favorite YouTuber. Um, so if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever is between you and your manifestation, go ahead and sign up for coaching with me right here. All right, let's get into the video. This is the fastest intro I ever did. All right, I'm gonna talk about revising on the spot and you not reacting. So yes, while the last two videos have talked about how we can bypass all the resistance and all the negative thoughts, while you're doing this, just in case the 3D hasn't caught up yet, because there's still a delay in the 3D, but trust me, the delay is going to be much less when you implement the things that I talked about in the last two videos. So, with that being said, there's still a little delay, and I'm gonna need you to keep your shit together during that delay while you're in the process of switching your state, okay? What you're going to do, let's, let's give an example. What you're going to do is when something that you don't like or something that makes you unhappy happens in the 3D, or your 3D is showing you something, again, that you are not happy with and didn't want to happen or um, things have not conformed yet and so the person maybe is still acting a certain way or the bank is still not showing what um, you want it to show or your body, your appearance is not showing what you want it to show. Let's start with appearance. So let's say you're manifesting an appearance change and you go look in the mirror and you don't see it yet okay whatever it is weight gain weight loss clear skin lips hair i don't know whatever you're not going to whine and whimper and feel defeated when you look in the mirror you're going to compliment yourself on those features instead so let's say you wanted clear skin, right? And you look in the mirror and you see acne all over your face. You're gonna say, oh my God, my skin is so clear, wow. And then you're gonna walk away. And if you keep thinking of it, you're gonna say, damn, my skin is so clear. Like, dang, my skin is flawless. I have always had such clear skin. I've always had the best skin. Again, like in the last video, always. It's just natural for me to have really great skin. We're going to implement those, but you're going to use them on the spot. You, that's how you just revised on the spot. That You literally just revised that, that situation on the spot where instead of reacting and saying, Oh my God, my skin looks so bad. Ah, nope, my skin looks so good. I just naturally have really good skin. Wow, my skin looks amazing. That was revising on the spot. Same thing for money. You check your bank account and you're like, Oh... That's not good. That is not what I'm manifesting. You're gonna say, oh my God, I have so much money in here. Look, I have a hundred thousand dollars. I have a million dollars or whatever it is that you're manifesting. Whatever amount of money that you're wanting to see in there. You're gonna say, oh, look how much money I have. It's so normal for me to have over a million dollars in the bank or over a hundred thousand dollars in the bank. It's just so normal for me. I'm just naturally rich. That's revising on the spot. Instead of reacting and instead of addressing what you see with your eyes, you're going to change it in your mind. You look at that bank, your mind knows that you're looking at your bank. You're implying that it is money that you are thinking about. And then you're going to say, oh my God, I have $100,000. It's so normal for me to have $100,000. My bank account is literally so large. Like, I have so much money. That's revising on the spot. Same thing for an SP. Your SP texts you something that you did not want to see or they say something to you that you didn't want to hear or maybe they broke up with you and told you they'd never love you again or maybe they're not even someone you've ever been with maybe it's someone that you want to be with and they're like oh I just don't see you that way like or it's a fuck buddy and they don't want a relationship with you when you hear them say that say this is a friends with benefit situation and you want a relationship and they're like nah I don't want a relationship I, I never want to be in a relationship I'm not good at relationships whatever they said instead in your mind you're gonna say you're absolutely ready to be in a relationship with me. You're so in love with me. Like, you're literally begging me to commit to you right now. 
you are begging me to be with you. They're so in love with me. They're begging me to be with them. It's just so natural for whoever I want to want me. It's so natural for him to want to be in a relationship with me. He's always wanted to be in a relationship with me. He's always been in love with me. However you want to word it, whatever your affirmations are, you're going to use them on the spot and revise. No matter, you don't go and cry about it, okay? And this kind of leads me into another thing where people are like, well, I don't have to be happy to manifest. No, you don't. You don't have to be happy to manifest what you want specifically. But why are you okay with being sad all the time? Why are you okay with being in a shitty mood all the time? Well, yes, you can still change your thoughts and manifest what you want. It's a struggle and it sucks. Why? Why, why, why would you want to do that? Why wouldn't you instead do what I said in the first video and start affirming that you've always had happy thoughts and feelings and change your state? When you change your state, it's going to be much easier for you to manifest what you want rather than saying, oh, I cried all day, but I still affirmed. That sucks. Sorry if the angle changed, but my battery died. Anyway, like I was saying, that sucks. Who the fuck wants to just cry all the time? Who the fuck wants to be just unhappy all the time and still, well, of course, you're still trying to get what you want. Who wants to live like that? That's got to be a sucky way to, that, that just makes it so much harder. Like, why? Why are we doing that? Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should, okay? So, what I want you to do is if you are someone who cries all the time or dreads everything all the time but still knows if I keep my thoughts in check I can get what I want please consider the fact that you can also change your mood your feelings your thoughts you can change states to where you are happy you have positive thoughts I'm naturally a positive person who only attracts positive experiences and remember this new state is going to affect your relationship or your situation because now you're in a new state where things are wonderful and positive and happy. Therefore, those are the types of things that are going to happen rather than the things that you are keeping in place by being upset and sad and miserable all the time. So please consider, please consider instead changing your state and therefore your thoughts and your feelings because there's no need for you to be miserable even though you keep your thoughts in check. That sucks. So instead, I want you to be affirming or be falling asleep in the visual or the affirmation that you always have happy thoughts and feelings or everything is so wonderful all the time. Everything is just naturally wonderful for me. I have the assumption that everything is always wonderful for me. I'm naturally a positive and happy person. I'm always so positive and happy. However you want to affirm it um, or visualize saying it, that's what I want you to do because again, while yes you can, it doesn't mean you should. There's no need. Who wants to be unhappy all the time? Honestly. I don't even want to be unhappy some of the time. None of the time do I want to be unhappy. So, therefore, change your state, and this won't even be an issue for you anymore. You won't even have to ask me anymore, can you still, or is it okay that you reacted, but you kept your thoughts in check? Just assume no, it's not okay. We're not going to do that. We're not going to live in this miserable state when we can very simply change it. All you got to do is keep falling asleep in the thought that everything is wonderful or you always have happy and wonderful thoughts you're literally that far away from not having to feel that way anymore so why wouldn't you do what is so easy for you to do to get out of that state rather than living in your reaction constantly and i'm gonna be honest if you're someone who's crying all the time and miserable all the time your thoughts are not that in check because your feelings are usually a manifestation of your thoughts. And if you're thinking enough against what you want, 
to be crying all the time and then changing your thoughts, then trust me, you didn't get to crying from thinking happy thoughts. So let's just get past all that and let's fall asleep in the assumption that everything is always wonderful, your thoughts or feelings are always happy, you only experience happy, positive, wonderful things, however you want to word it. But let's, let's switch to that state and let's just quit all this crying and reacting shit, okay? Because it's unnecessary. You can revise on the spot and you can change your state to being happy. So there's no reason for you to be struggling in a miserable state. And there is no reason for you to be reacting to situations that you know, if you will persist in this new assumption, it's going to change. So why am I going to react to something that I know is going to change? There's no need for it. That'd be like me crying about having roots when I know I have a hair appointment and it's going to be fixed soon. You know what I mean? It just doesn't make sense. There's no need for it. Let's be happy and feel wonderful all the time. I know that none of you want to be unhappy any of the time. So let's get out of this, at least the mermaid gang members. Let's get out of any unhappiness, any resistance, any frustration, any struggle, you know we're all about making things easier over here. So let's get out of that. Let's let's live wonderful lives where only wonderful things happen for us. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.